Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we're going to look at a common situation you'll find, especially when you read data from a PDF. Well, the situation is something like this. You have some data, yes, and then you have a couple of empty columns, and then the data set repeats. A couple of empty columns, this is not consistent. Here you can see two empty columns, there you can see four. And then you see three empty columns and then data sets exists over there. What we're going to do is we're going to take these data sets, kind of like understand these empty rows and then stack these horizontal data sets into something like this. Well, enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so let's get the data into Power Query. We go to data, we go to get data from file from Excel workbook. Now this most likely will be from a PDF document or a CSV, but it could be an Excel document. And this kind of format you get in PDFs normally, and I say import, and this would be in the sheet, right? Go to transform data, and this opens Power Query. So you can see one of the things that Power Query automatically does, it adds all of these unnecessary steps in this case. I'm just gonna say, no, thank you. No, thank you. So this is our raw data set. And if you scroll to the side, you can see there's 24 columns with all of the horizontal data sets. And ideally, these empty columns are kind of like the delimiter. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new step. And in this step, I'm simply going to convert each of these columns, each of these 24 columns into a list. How I do that is I say table, two columns, feed it the table. So now what I did it, you can see, so it's 24 rows for all of the 24 columns you can see there's the first one there's the second one there's the third one and then we have space 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 and the next data set starts over there and then space 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 what i want to do next is you can see all of these nulls i want to remove some of these nulls even in the data sets like this there's nulls in there so what i'm going to do there is i'm going to say list now that it's a list transform take the list as an input and say in there each for each item in this list, use the list remove nulls and underscore, which refers to each item in this list, and close the brackets. And you can see what we have now is all the nulls are eliminated. Brilliant! Okay, so now what I want to do is now that I have a list of these columns, I want to kind of like, I want to add a column to this, but you can't add a column to a list. So I want to convert this list back into a table. How I can do that is simply going to say table from list and give it this input over there. See, it's giving me a little error there because we can't just do that. We need to give it a splitter, split by nothing, which basically will split it by nothing. We'll just convert this list. You can see. It's just now a table with that little icon there um, with items with a list in it. So a table, a one row table with lists in it. Now, now that it's a table, I can add my column. So I'm going to say add the column. It's going to be a custom column. And I'm just going to say list is empty. So check if the list is empty. And I'm going to say if I find anything in this list, that's empty. So if everything is empty, it's going to return true. And if it's not empty, it's going to return false. So now you can see false, 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 because there's data in there. And then true, that is all empty. And then false, false, false. You can see now we're basically creating these th first three. That is our first data set. This is our second data set, third data set, a lot of trues, blanks, and then our fourth data set. All right, so this gives us kind of like something to filter on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a grouping. So let's quickly say group. I'm going to say table group. Because what I want to do is I want to kind of group it by true and false, right? So I'm going to say group it by the custom column, which is the one we created, the true and false. And I'm going to say create a new table. Let's call it stock stocks. This needs to be curly brackets. I'm going to say each and underscore, right? And I'm going to close this up over there. And you can see this is not giving me what I want at all because it's just grouping false, false and true. There, well, there's another property of a group by that says basically group by local or global. So by default, this is actually set to group kind global. So if I do that, you can see this actually doing exactly the same thing. If I change this to local, it basically takes each instance. So 
groups these ones, then these ones, these ones, then the locally aggregating. So you can see aggregates the falses, the trues, the falses together. Pretty cool. So this we can now basically use this first false, the first data set, second data set, third data set, fourth data set. And that is the spaces in between. All right. So now what I don't want is that I don't want this table to just have a list. Now I want to convert this list into a table. So I'm going to go back into this group by query. And I'm going to say this list over there, go table from columns. Yes. And I'm going to give it the input of that underscore. And I want to give it column one. That is the list. And I want to close it out. And now if you click on that, you can see now that list is unfolded into a table. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you can see each false now has a table in it. Table, table, table. But what I want to do in these tables, I want to promote the headers, right? So I can actually now because it's a table in there, I can say table promote headers and wrap it in there and say, OK. And now what you have is you can see the, the headers are promoted for each of these false, each of these false rows. All right. So now the next thing we do is quite simple. We just filter out anything that is false. Cool. And you can see, so now we have all the rows there. Cool. What I'm going to do now is I don't want to add another step. So I'm just going to say, just give me the stocks in square brackets. Just give me the stocks column. Now we have all the stocks stacked. All I need to do now is do a simple table combine. And that does the trick. And there we go. Problem solved. All we need to do now is close and load, load it back into Excel. And there you go. Unstack. We took a horizontal data set and unstacked it using list functions and then converting a list back into a table and being clever with some list functions, just with a little bit of creativity. Anyway, Hope this one helped you. Be a sensei. Signing out.